This is Lisa Smith, and these are the remains of the Islamic State in Syria. They enslaved, raped and murdered. Yet as a shocked world condemned the group's brutality, she was planning to join it. Despite all evidence to the contrary, she claimed what she was seeing was propaganda, and she didn't believe it. I want for myself an actual caliphate, like as in a Muslim country, not like a, a group or a, a brutality group. A brutality group. Yeah. Do you accept now that that's what the Islamic State was? Yeah, I think there was a lot of brutality in it, you know. She says a decade in the Irish Army and Air Corps left her depressed, lost in drink and drugs and searching for answers. For her, they lay in radical Islam. People who did that, the murders, the raping and the enslavement of the Yazidi women, should, should they pay for that? I can't answer because I don't know. And I don't know who's telling the truth in his line. So you think, you think yeah. that, that when I explain these things mm. to you that I, I might be lying? I'm not saying that you're, you might be lying. I'm, I'm saying I don't know. I have to see the sides of the two stories. I actually have to hear the truth on both sides and then you can make a decision, you know? Lisa Smith wasn't an impressionable teenager when she entered the caliphate. 33 years old, she divorced her Tunisian husband because he refused to join Islamic State alongside her. A big plane came and just right beside the Madafa I was in, boom, 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 big bombs, you know. I was sh shaking, you know, I was like, what is this, you know, I didn't realise that this was going to be like, like this, you know, I didn't think it was going to be bombs. Lisa Smith isn't being treated as a prisoner. She's being held with her daughter in a camp for IS women and children. But she told me she's been visited more than once by the FBI for questioning, and they've taken her fingerprints and DNA. Can you understand it? Because you're, you know, you're clearly an Obviously intelligent military, woman, yeah. got a military background. You can understand yeah. why people yeah. would, would think that it would be a waste for you to stay at home yeah, and, but and the, not the, That's not how it works in the Islamic State. That's not how it works. Do they ask you to fight? No. Even if I wanted to go fight and I tried to fight, they wouldn't let me. And you never picked up a gun? No. I had my daughter at that time, you know. They must I, have asked you to. No. They don't ask you. You trained girls yeah. aged maybe 9 to 12. It's so not true. It's not true. It's so not true. So why do you think those, those girls, why do you think they're saying that? Because they say, they don't just say that they learned, they say that it was you that taught them. Bring these girls to my face and we all sit here and they can see my face and we'd speak and we will see the truth. Why do you think they're saying that about you? I don't do know. Do you think it's the military background? Again? No, no, because not a lot of people actually know I was in the military. We do know she associated with the so-called white widow Sally Jones. She and her husband, Junaid Hussein, radicalised others to join Islamic State and plan attacks. Both are dead. Those who survived are now in limbo. One thing that everybody wants here, and nobody has, is information. Information about what happens next, information about when or even if they get to go home. And the reason is that no government has the same policy as, as any other. There is no standard across the board. I've been stopped by a British woman already this morning. A German lady peered out of her tent and said, when do I get to go home? But the fact is, they aren't answers that right now anybody has. I'm not like a terrorist. I'm not out to kill anyone. But are you a safe person to be back in Ireland? You know, would you go back and, and plan attacks on people there because no. you didn't agree with the life that they were living? Would you do that? No. If you ask me, am I going to hurt anyone? No. Have I any intentions to do anything? No. I'm just interested in trying to bring my daughter up and get her educated. I don't even think I'm radicalized, you know. All I know is I just came to an Islamic state and I failed. So I, at the beginning, I didn't come to kill anyone. <laughs> and when I was there, I didn't kill anyone. And when I go home, I'm not going to kill anyone. I just think I'm, I'm the same, you know. We don't know for sure what she did or didn't do here. But joining the caliphate means that her daughter is now one child among thousands trying to navigate an uncertain future. They are the innocent casualties of their parents' murderous ideology.